Let's go ahead and check out the temperature before using Royal Purple Ice. Notice the thermostat says 72 degrees Fahrenheit. The next thermostat, 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's go ahead and check the temperature of the vehicle. Thorough testing of Royal Purple Ice with these compelling instruments will leave us with fascinating results. Does Royal Purple Ice cooling system optimizer and conditioner actually work? And what about the Hyperloop super coolant? Do you think it works as well or the red line? There's many of these out there that claim to lower the temperature up to 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Seems like a stretch to me but we're about to find out. And if you'd like to know about the super coolant, I have a video on that one as well. Let's go ahead and get started. I'd like to find out just how good the thermal efficiency is. So this is just an easy way to remove what I need to remove to add in the royal purple. You guys don't need to see all of this, but I just want to give you guys an idea. Let's check out the temperature around the head. If you add the royal purple ice to the reservoir instead of the radiator, then it's going to take a lot longer for it to circulate throughout the cooling system. As you can see, we've allowed the temperature to cool back down after running the first test. So let's go ahead and check out these instructions run up to 25 degrees cooler for best results flush cooling system with royal flush now with exclusive next gen technology directions shake well before using make sure cooling system works properly and is free of blockage and corrosion use one to two ounces per quart of coolant with antifreeze water mix or two ounces with straight water Distilled water is not recommended unless mixed with a 50 antifreeze mix. As I said, you want to make sure you use the proper amount of antifreeze before this because it will not protect you from freezing temperatures. And here we have distilled water. So this is without Royal Purple Ice. check out the final results.
Unfortunately, that one screwed up. Now let's see if the royal purple can actually make a big difference. Wow, I can actually see a difference. Royal purple, so far, so good. Well, I have to actually say I'm impressed. Royal purple did make a difference with the thermal efficiency when placed under a timer. Now guys, I just like to say with the thermostat and everything else involved, this is probably the best way to test it. If you have any other ideas, please let me know. And as always guys, the best information always comes from you. So please share all the information that you can that may help someone else or myself included. Thanks for being part of the NIA community.